Uh, one quick little thing before we begin here. Thanks to Robo for providing me a link to that interview that I was talking about in the last part. There's going to be a link in the description if you are interested in listening to it. Other than that, let's get on with the video. Hey everybody, it's King of Koopas here, and welcome back to some more Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 1.00G. In the last part, we just finished off episode 2, Jazz in Time, and we're about to start Flashback. Now, fans of the series obviously know what this is. This is Diamondus from the original game. Yes, Flashback is actually the, um, it's actually episode 1 of Jazz Jack Rabbit, the original, but you know, with updated levels and whatnot. And yeah, they're not remakes though, no. So, anyhow, uh, let's get going. First thing before we start out here, you should know, this level was originally very different. I'm going to post a few, actually, just going to post one up in the corner there to show you what it looked like, because, yeah, it had a completely different look to it. It's actually really interesting. And, uh, anyway, right off the bat here, uh, you want to get this. So this is your first time playing through the, um, uh, like, if you're playing through this episode for the first time, you know, or you um, started from flashback and didn't come from a previous level where there's toaster or whatnot, you want to get this toaster ammo. Trust me on that. And here we have a beehive that, for some reason, does not have a bee in it. That is actually really weird. In the final game, these beehives are basically respawning bees. And for some reason, that one's not appearing. I'm sure we'll see more of them, though. I hate these bees, so they're so annoying. Like, these things were so annoying. I actually had this. I actually just skipped through the level. Like when I was young, I never bothered exploring or anything. I simply just ran through the entire level blind because I hated those things. There's a lot of ways to go here, so let's go this way. Don't really think it makes a difference. Those bees follow a really weird again. A pattern again, toaster ammo helps, and I don't, and I haven't played this level in a long time, so please excuse any. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna go this way first. Let me, let's clear out all this area first, because I don't want to skip something. There is something very important here, it's, it's, it's the only one in the entire game. This might even hurt you, these bugs don't even hurt you. I just see you know that area down there, um, uh, come on, get over here. The area down there, you go with spaz, and it's actually a little bit of a harder area, so. It's annoying here, those bees will actually follow you. Alright, so anyhow, what we want to do here, unfreeze this, if you sure to collect that toaster ammo if you don't have any, and go up here, and here we have the blaster power-up. Now let me tell you, this thing pretty much renders everything else obsolete. This powers up your normal blaster so it does two hearts of damage instead of one. Which essentially means it's a uh, fully automatic rape gun, pretty much. Um, you uh, can only get this as normally, you can only get this as uh, jazz. But if you come over here when you're spaz, it's very, very hard, but it's, but it's possible. You can use that spring and you can actually get into this area as spaz. It's very hard, but it's worth it. I believe for that reason, I believe the, um,. Uh, what's it called? There is an uh, animation for the uh, blaster power of having spaz gun on it, but I don't think that's used in the final game. So, yep. And we're gonna go up here because I missed something. Like I said, it's been years since I played this. Don't worry, you're not missing out too much if you miss this, if you miss the secret um in this level. What does this say? Nick loves shiny. Always has. <laughs> if you don't know, no, I believe they're talking about, uh, uh, what's his name? Nick Sadler, I think that's his name. One of the developers. And Spaz ate the dope fish. <laughs> and this is little notes, like, to the developers and whatnot in the game. It's actually kind of funny. There's a lot of trees in this area. Okay, this, this, I never figured out when I was young. What you want to do is go over here, push this. Now you want to. Uh, no, I said. Oh, I screwed that up. So I'm gonna want to use TNT. Cause that's how I roll. Ah. And there's a one up. 
I never figured out how to get that as a kid for some reason because I never thought to push it. Actually, a really a nice use of it. And over here, we get a coin. I believe we need 50 coins for the warp, but it's not really worth it. What does it say? Mark where it's briefed. <laughs> for some reason, they seem to be poking fun at each other a lot in this level. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay, uh, what did I do here? Did I go this way? Okay, there we go. I believe... Freaking... Oh, well, um... Well, that is awkward. I just missed out on a secret. Because I believe... Because I don't remember the trees being that stupidly hit rush in this game. Oh, there we go. Fast enough you can go through. Wanna go up here, and there we go. Coins, don't wanna miss those. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, I could've sworn I landed on that, but okay. There we go. It's really weird, there's a that little area down there, as far as I know, it's not used for anything. Actually, kind of interesting as to why they why they put that uh, little area down there. Oh, well, anyway, we get wow, we found a secret just so we can get some freezer ammo. Okay, this is why we need the freezer though. Sugar rush, and here we. Okay, there we go. That bee, that bee thing is um a warp. Let's go down here. Into the warp, and we got stuff. Pretty sh. Don't they show you pretty bad secret? Now I believe you need um uh you need to use this rock to get to like different areas. Like I need, I believe we need to push the rock over here so you can get. Excuse me, so you can get up here. What you can just do for these. I believe you need spaz normally. Oh, never mind. These don't go with... There we go. There we go. Again, you need spaz for this, but our old friend, TNT, will fix that. Here we go. More your gems. A lot of gems in this level, I just noticed. Uh, again, I don't think these hurt you. Nope. I like that in the final game as far as I know as well. And that area is again for spaz only. And I'm just gonna rush through the rest of this level like finish the bees. And trust me, the next level is worse. And here we go! That's the end of that level. I'm off to level two. I believe it's 14 carrots. Yep, 14 14 carrots. And here we have a very interesting leap effect. Now, there's an event in Jazz Creation Station that um that, um, ugh, that uh, says leave. So I guess there was originally going to be an event, but I believe in this is tile set based. But yeah, anyhow, we're going to hit this. Let's go here. And here we have one, one of the biggest changes from the beta. The pepper spray, though. In this game, it's not called the pepper spray. Now, for those of you who don't know, in the final game, the pepper spray is just a measly little tiny dot. It's almost worthless. But look what this does. It's a slow-moving fireball, and let me tell you, that thing, it just rapes everything. Like, I mean, I I, don't, I can't find any enemies to really show it off on, but I don't think there's any in this level. But that, but that thing can actually penetrate enemies, as far as I know. Now we'll go ahead and get this. This, this stuff can, uh, it can penetrate enemies, and it does like three or four damage. It's absolutely insane. I got that one. See if I can penetrate here. Let me just show it off. Yep, it penetrates. That is powerful. I mean, I can just get. I mean, it's amazing. It was that was probably why it was removed in this game because of the um because of how powerful it was. Let me tell you. Having that in the game, it makes, like, the bosses are an absolute joke. 
And, and I was also explaining why it's so rare in the campaign. I believe this and one other level are the only levels in the game that actually carry this ammo, and this would be why. Whoops, I keep forgetting. I'm not playing as bad. I want to go up here. There's a fire shield. I want to grab that. Let's go here. You were of chainsaw <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what any of these mean, but I love them. I believe the warp is- yo, actually you want the warp. In the final game, the warp is pretty much worthless because, you know, I'll get to that why. I'll get to why later, and here we have the fire, fire, fire. Oh, yeah. Now that hurts you, I believe, so let's not go that way. And you need ice for this. I love this power. I love this. It's not my favorite. I think the lightning is my favorite, but I love this one nonetheless. Because I mean, everything just, everything just sent him new socks. <laughs> oh my god, they're just taking so as many jabs as they can. Just, just do this because I'm a boss. And I believe right around this area we are gonna get reverted. Yep, there we go. And there's a missing tile there. Uh-huh, that's interesting. Um, hmm. interesting, missing tile. I am not gonna bother. Last time I played with missing tiles, my game crashed, so. We're gonna go this way. Be uh, careful. Okay, hey, never mind, you don't need to be careful. It looks like the range of the bees are severely, like, lowered from in the final game, it looks like. Because I know in the final game, you can sometimes get chased by the bee down there at the bottom. It looks like their range was, uh, reduced in this version. And here we have wind. Nothing to worry about, really. On to the end of the level. Hopefully I'm not missing coins. I haven't played them. I'm not very familiar with this level. Okay, be careful going this way. And I just, as soon as I say B, you want to go down here and hit the warp. And here we have the power up. It now goes faster and does more damage. What were they thinking? You put that, you can pretty much just steamroll every boss in the game in seconds. I mean, just downright steamroll. I mean, the toaster does the job, but that does it. Well, I don't want to say better, but it does it just about as well. Just... So, yeah. That is some serious shit. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. What does this say? Don't give Mark a burrito. <laughs> oh my god. He's... All right, we're almost at the end of the level. This is gonna be a fairly, I don't wanna say short part, but here we go, end of the level. And there we go, end of the level. So anyhow, thank you all for watching. In the next part, we're gonna start Electric Boogaloo, my favorite, my, this is my favorite level, it's a remake of Tube Electric, and these are my favorite levels in the entire game. I'll see you in the next part.